Hi Capricorn, welcome to your Love Connection reading for November. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information that you need. Tons of stuff there. Personal reading information, social media, decks I'm using, all kinds of stuff. So please do go check that out. Um, thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you everybody for all the support. Uh, reaching out for personal readings, uh, energy exchange as an A tip or donation to the channel is uh, very appreciated. Thank you to those who have and helping with the channel's growth. Being a part of that um, truly does mean a lot to me and getting the messages out to the people that need to hear them. So thank you, thank you, thank you for being part of the channel. So thank you so much. Okay, Capricorn, this is your... Love Connection reading for November. Happy fall. Happy November. November already. All right. So Capricorn, this can be any kind of connection you have in mind with anybody you're thinking of at this time, whoever you're thinking of. Um, it could be an ex. It could be, you could be in a marriage. You could be separated from somebody. You could be dating, have a crush on someone and you think they like you too. I mean, it could be anything, but it has to be some form of an actual um, connection. So if you just like somebody and they have no clue who you are, then this reading probably isn't going to be for you. Okay, so Capricorn. This is a Zodiac Oracle. So let's see. Oh, we got Sagittarius here. So some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. If not, that is totally fine. Um, or if they have Sag somewhere in their chart. This is a little extra bonus. So if you don't resonate, resonate with the sign of Sagittarius, that is totally fine rest of the reading may be for you. If you click down the link, then there's probably something here that uh, will resonate for you. So let's get an overall love connection energy between your, you and your person, whoever you're thinking about at this time. Capricorn. All right. So what is the overall love energy between Capricorn and their person for November spirit, please, that they are thinking about at this time? And get one card for the overall love connection energy. The fledgling. So this, and this is number one. So ones are about new beginnings. And the fledgling is about um, somebody who's in the process of learning. Learning something new. Um, sort of like a, a student almost. So this may be a very, very new connection uh, that you have with somebody Capricorn. And you're just learning about each other. Just getting to know one another. All right. So what I want to do next is it is a love connection reading. So I want to get one for you and one for your person. And it'll be how you are feeling about them and this connection. And one for how they're feeling about you and this connection. So I'm going to put you on this side, Capricorn, and your person on this side. But if at any time you feel like the roles are reversed, you know how tarot works. You flip-flop, swap the energies wherever you see fit. So feel free to do that at any time. Only table resonates. Throw away what doesn't. It's a general collective reading, not a personal reading. All right. So let's get... Wow. Capricorn. One for you in your person. How is Capricorn feeling about their person and the connection? And how is their person feeling about Capricorn and this connection? So you have... The warrior. So, and two is about unity and partnership. And this is the warrior. So, yeah, you, this connection could be a struggle. Maybe you see them, uh, you see them, either you or them, someone here has been through a struggle, a fight, a battle, but they keep fighting on like that warrior. So, either you or them, somebody um, wants to keep fighting on for this. Connection. So let's see what your person has individuality. So they may see you as very some as someone who is very uh, unique and different, different than them maybe. Um, you have forty seven here, which is eleven, which is two. Uh, you don't usually reduce eleven, but if you do, you get two, so that you have two, and then you have two there. So, and that card is one, so you go from one to two, so it's progression. Yeah, so either them, either you or them, somebody here is very um, unique, uh, very different, different from one another. 
different personalities, different ethnic backgrounds, could be different uh, religious beliefs or spiritual beliefs or whatever here. Um, so somebody is very different than their usual type. But the other person doesn't really care. They just want to keep on fighting for this connection and they just want to fight for it. And I feel like it's a very new, new connection here where you're just learning about each other, about the connection, learning about them. They're learning about you because there is that individuality there. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have fulfillment here and we have 220, which is two again, which is about partnership and unity and having a fulfillment in every way possibly here, possible here emotional fulfillment a uh, love fulfillment abundance just total fulfillment in every single way wow so yeah i do see a lot of fulfillment in this connection if you can get over the differences um that may be between you you know all right so let's Clarify this with tarot for you Capricorn for November. One more shuffle. Capricorn for November. Love connection reading spirit. Why is warrior here for Capricorn? And then we'll get one for your person. Why is warrior here for Capricorn spirit, please? And we'll get one for your person. That's two. We'll take this one. So we have the Queen of Pentacles here, which is Earth energy, which is your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So can be male or female here. It doesn't really matter. It's all just energy here. But the Queen of Pentacles, somebody who's very uh, stable and grounded, can take care of themselves. They're a nurturer, a giver, a carer. Uh, they can make their own money. They can stand on their own two feet. Very um, reliable and hard worker, smart, analytical, business sense could own, even own their own business or be a high-ranking boss or something like that. So let's see what, so that's your energy right there. So let's see what your person has. So the Four of Swords, so this is uh, air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but doesn't have to be. So this is taking a break, uh, taking a respite, thinking, contemplating, um, healing, thinking things over. So your person may feel like maybe you two are just too different. So they're taking a time out and they're really thinking about this connection. But you're standing firmly in your beliefs and your values and who you are. And you want to, the warrior there, I mean, you want to fight for this connection. You want to fight for it. But they're kind of taking a time out and really thinking about it because I think they feel you're just too different but we've got fulfillment there in every single way and we got two we got two and that equals two so and uh one there is a new beginning so with uh the fledgling this could be the beginning of a whole new experience for the two of you learning experience so let's clarify here the queen of pentacles for your energy spirit please can we clarify the queen of pentacles the seven of pentacles so <laughs> so your energy again um virgo taurus capricorn at the seven of pentacles it's like you want to invest in this person you've already invested some time in this person you already have got to know them a little bit but now you know the seven of pentacles is you've invested wisely and now you're just waiting uh for your investments to prosper so i think you're waiting for this person you're waiting while they are over here taking a break, thinking, contemplating about this connection. So let's clarify the Four of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Four of Swords for your person. Why is that here? The Page of Swords. So, wow, a lot of air energy. So if they're not a Sagittarius, they could be an air sign, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So now we have the Page of Swords. So, um... This is about communication, or it can be maybe they're doing some sort of research online. Maybe they're spying on you online, keeping tabs on you for some reason, even though they're taking a break and thinking, contemplating. Maybe for some reason they're looking things up online, trying to gain more information about, 
I don't know, themselves, you, the connection, and you know, if it could work, the morals and beliefs behind the two of you, if you come from different ethnic backgrounds, you know, trying to figure out, will this work? And like, I don't know, doing research or something like that, or something, trying to learn. I get they're trying to learn. But they may come forward eventually with communication. Pages are about communication. And the swords is about truth, clarity, uh, and that sort of thing. So I think they're trying to gain clarity. They're trying to gain clarity uh, with the page of swords. So they could be doing research and things like that online while they're taking a break from you and trying to figure uh, this connection out. All right, so let's get the actual situation for you, Capricorn. The Five of Pentacles, that's on your side. Wow, so we're getting all your energy here on this side. Pentacles again, which is uh, the Virgo Taurus Capricorn. So we got the Five of Pentacles. So that's feeling lonely, abandoned, left out in the cold. So you're definitely feeling that uh, because they're taking this break. But... Now connecting to them is the Ten of Cups. So I think they're going to soon realize here, this is water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, doesn't have to be, but Ten of Cups here. So they're going to come to realize after they've been apart for you for a period of time while they're doing research or doing whatever they're doing there with the Page of Swords, trying to gain clarity that how much they miss and want and love you and have feelings for you and you are their Ten of Cups. They're going to come to realize that. They'll gain clarity with the Page of Swords and tell you that they want the Ten of Cups with you, which is total happiness, joy, fulfillment right here. Fulfillment, Ten of Cups is that happiness and joy and fulfillment in every single way. So that's on their side for the actual situation. And you're just waiting for them and you're lonely and you're feeling abandoned and cold and kind of sad and like just waiting like, oh, what are they going to choose? Are they going to choose me? What are they going to do? Um... You're just patiently waiting for them. The Nine of Cups. So between the two of you here, now we have the Nine. So we've got the Nine and the Ten, again, with the uh, progression here. So this is happiness and joy, wishes and dreams coming true, wish fulfillment. So you connecting to the two of you is wish fulfillment. So you will both get your wish. I mean, you're both wishing for each other, but maybe, uh, you know, ethnic you know, differences or something is really holding them back. It could be their family, their friends telling them they can't do this because of the different culture or backgrounds or whatever here. But I think they're going to just uh, gain the clarity and realize, you know what, I really don't care about that. They're my wish and my dream come true. They're my happiness and joy. They're my fulfillment. And I see that with the um, Ten of Cups there. Yeah. Clarifying too now just came flying out. You saw that Six of Cups energy now here. So this is soulmate energy. This is, you could even have past lives with this person. Soulmate energy here with the Six of Cups. I don't know if you've knew, known them since childhood or if you've known them from school or something like that. That can talk about memories, nostalgia, people, places, things of the past, childhood. If not, um, you've probably had past lives with this person. Um... So yeah, soulmate energy there. So let's clarify. Let's clarify. So we go the six, the nine, the ten. We got five, five, six, nine, ten. Okay, so let's get one more to clarify the situation. The sun, nice, Leo. Energy doesn't have to be happiness, joy, victory, success, enlightenment. And I had just said they will gain clarity on this whole situation and what does the sun do it gives you clarity it gives you enlightenment it brings you in the happiness and joy contentment victory success happy home and family life healing energy so you could even have a family with this person in the future but yep page of swords they're trying to gain clarity and boom they get that clarity with the sun and say yep you're my wish my dream come true i want the ten of cups with you they see you feeling lonely, abandoned, and left out on the cold, out in the cold, and say, and they say, I can't leave my soulmate. I can't leave them out in the cold. I just can't. They're my happiness and joy here with the sun. Wow, sun is the most positive card in the deck. So let's see, Capricorn, what your 
advices in this connection? What's Capricorn's advice? The Hierophant. Oh my God. This is Taurus. That's commitment, marriage, doing what's moral, just, and right, doing things by the book, uh, values. Wow. All right. So let's get one more. And the Hermit. So. <clears throat> Hermit is Virgo, but it doesn't have to be. So you got the Hermit and you have the Hierophant. Two majors here for your advice. And I got something in my eye. So, yep, so your advice is, you know, the Hermit talks about going, um, you know, it's kind of all like almost the Four of Swords energy, going in, doing that inner journey work, that soul searching work, finding your way, your light, your path doing, you know, your healing work, spending time alone, whatever here. And I feel like, you know, you've spent enough time alone while they figured things out. And now your advice is, boom, commitment, to offer commitment to this person. You know, the hermit, I mean, you could think about it. You can uh, contemplate about it and do that soul searching. Is this what I truly want? And when you know that, I think you do already. Boom, there's a commitment card. Commitment with this person. That's your advice. Wow. Okay, so let's clarify that. The Ace of Wands is the passionate brand new beginning. Wow. Fire energy, Leo Sagittarius. There's a Sag energy coming in here. Fiery, passionate, exciting, uh, adventurous, new endeavors, projects, everything. Brand new, passionate, fiery, exciting new beginning here. And committing to that. And knowing that's what you want with the hermit. I feel while you were waiting for them, you, you know, you already knew, you know, you didn't even really have to think about it. You're like, I know this is my person and I want them. They're my soulmate. I want this fiery, passionate, exciting new beginning. I want to commit with them. You already know that. So now they finally see the light. They finally see the light and they come forward and say, you know, yes, I want you. Seven of Cups. So, you know, this can talk about uh, day, daydreams, illusions, confusions, choices. I, and I said choices, and I said you, I feel like you already made your choice. You already knew this was your person. Because you see these two people together here already. So I think while they were trying to figure things out, because you see that woman reaching up trying to figure things out it's like you know you already knew like you were looking in your papers there it's like you you already knew yeah this is my soulmate and while they seven of cups on their side here about the confusion while they figure that out while the you know the light comes to them i already know i already made the choice as my person and there's the divinely guided passionate new beginning handed to you from the heavens wow and I just noticed here with the hermit how this ring here almost looks like, well, I just said it, a ring. And you got the hierophant here. <laughs> and if you turn it, wow, if you turn it this way, it does actually look, look like a ring. Wow. Okay, so let's see what the possible outcome may be for you, Capricorn, in this connection. In this connection. The Nine of Swords, so stress, worry, uh, air energy here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, doesn't have to be, but stress, worry, fears, uh, anxiety. So you may fear even though, you know, they come to you and say, you know, okay, I want to be with you. Maybe you have may have stress and anxiety about offering them like full on commitment that they might not accept that. I don't know, you have this fear and anxiety here for some reason. So let's clarify that. King of Pentacles. So there's your energy here. So King and Queen of Pentacles here. So this is a divine couple here with the King and Queen. Even if you're different signs, it doesn't matter. When two King Queen come out in the same sign, whether or not you are the same sign or those signs, it's a divine couple here. This is soulmate divine energy here. So, and you got the Pentacle right there that you want to give. A commitment or whatever and I think you have fear stress anxiety worry that they may not accept either if it's an engagement or whatever here of really committing to one another pentacles is a very stable grounded committed 
long-term kind of energy. And I feel like you may want to offer that and you may feel they may reject that. You have some fears over that, that they may say, yeah, I want to be with you. But then when you offer a long-term commitment, I think you may be afraid and may scare them off. So let's get one more to clarify judgment. Yeah. So, so yeah, you feel like here's Scorpio, but it doesn't have to be judgment that, you know, what, what will they decide? This is a final judgment call that's coming on their side. But this judgment usually brings the soulmates together. It's a soulmate energy card again and making a final decision. So you're stressed and worried about, will they accept this offer? Will they make that final judgment call? Will they judge us? Will they judge the offer? Will they judge the long-term uh, stability of the connection? Yeah, I think you have a lot of fear and worry about that. But let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So now we have the King of Wands. So that's a fire energy there. Leo Sagittarius, fiery, passionate, go-getter, driven kind of energy, uh, very passionate. They go after what they want, a lot of passion, drive, and excitement, very determined energy. So I feel like, you know, you you are very passionate and determined to, you know, the warrior there to keep fighting and, you know, fight and fight for this person, for this connection, as does the King of Wands has that energy also. The Three of Wands, so this is, again, waiting, you know, waiting for your ships to come in. You know where you're going, what you're going to do, but you have to wait for it to arrive before you can get on board. So yeah, you're waiting for them to arrive, to get on board, to move forward in the same direction. So patiently waiting again. Five of Cups, again, feeling that sadness, hurt, and loneliness while they took this break from you. Three of Swords, feeling that heartbreak and pain also, feeling very heartbroken, like it tore your heart out. Uh, here uh, while they took this break from you. But then here's the offer with the Page of Pentacles. So again, I do feel like you may come in and offer them this long-term commitment of some kind. But there's a brand new beginning, manifesting a brand new beginning, manifesting this with the Magician energy and making that offer because you can't live without them. It tore your heart out because you were so lonely and sad without them while you waited for them and you have a lot of passion and drive to towards them and to fight and for this connection moving forward. So either you or them, however this resonates, if you feel like <clears throat> this side you, that side's them, however that resonates here. But I do see... Uh, I do see you making an offer. I do see them coming forward and say, yes, I want to be with you. Um, but then you might want, you probably will offer a long-term long commitment of some kind, but just stress because you don't know what they're going to say here. You don't know what the answer is going to be. Um, but I do feel like here, you know, yeah, you definitely will make that offer to manifest the brand in the beginning. So... I'm going to put these over here. I want to see if I can clarify what this person may say. What will their judgment call be? If Capricorn offers this beginning, new beginning, long term commitment here for their person. So we have Justice in the Knight of Wands. So the Justice is usually fair, balanced uh, decision, clarity, balancing out the scales, the Knight of Wands energy there. Um, moving forward, taking action, a lot of passion, drive, ambition. Sometimes that can be considered the player energy. They come in and out, but they don't stay. But I feel like I need one more. So I feel like, oh, let's get one more. Let's get one more. The world. So this is closing out cycles and a whole new cycle beginning. So I feel like I feel like uh, cycles that we're not serving will be closed and a whole new cycle will begin. I feel like they will come towards you with that Knight of Wands, with that fiery, passionate energy also. And justice will be served in this connection. You know, things will transform. There'll be balancing of the scales. There'll be truth and clarity. Closing out all this uh, negative energy between the two of you. Starting of a new cycle, new world together. 
want to see uh, what if we get any other information. So we've got the Nine of Pentacles of energy here, which is your energy. So this can talk of a single energy, but, you know, stable, secure, grounded energy uh, too. someone who will take care of themselves. So they may just be a very stable, independent energy that can take care of themselves also. Um, Ace of Pentacles. Okay. So they'll accept your offer. Even though they're very stable, secure on their own, they can stand on their own two feet, take care of themselves. But here's the brand new beginning. So you've got the Ace of um, Wands on your side. Now the Ace of Pentacles on their side. So they will accept it. This is a brand new stable beginning for long-term commitment. And that's your energy. So very stable, grounded, committed, long-term energy. All right. So ooh, I was a little worried there because with that single energy of the Nine of Pentacles, I was thinking, okay, maybe they're just going to close out the cycle with you and go off single on their own. But with that Ace of Pentacles there, I feel like that's your energy, that they will accept your offer. Okay, so let's get some extra messages for you, Capricorn, and this Love Connection reading for November. What do we have for Capricorn? Like beings, hmm, 35, eight. So maybe that's the um, difference between the two of you. Maybe this person is a light worker of some kind. Maybe they're very spiritual. They could be a healer, you know, Reiki, uh, chakra healing, or something like that, or uh, just a light worker or something like that with the light beings here, which is maybe the differences between the two of you. And maybe the fledgling, fledgling there, you're just learning about all this. Maybe it's all new to you. But I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. You want this person no matter what. Or they want you, however it resonates for you. Let's see. So we have Nourish here. So uh, re reminding you if you've been worn down and stressed and worried, uh, all the going through all this to... Always remember to take care of yourself, nourish yourself also. And could be a very nourishing connection between the two of you also. Nourish each other. And you see the light beings there and also the same energy on this card. So this person that you're connecting with, or it could be even you, could be a light worker of some kind. Sensitivity. So somebody's sensitive, either you or them. Very sensitive here. Very sensitive, delicate issue between the two of you. And uh, peace offering there with the rose. Offering a rose, extending that offer. We have manifestation. And we did have the magician come out too. So manifesting this brand new beginning. Manifesting. Manifestation. Manifesting. Whole new beginning. Whole new... Um, life with your person. Wow, Capricorn, uh, if you do like my style, you do like how I read, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month, and they're all different. You'll get a love connection like this. You'll get a general, a single reading for those who are singles that don't have anybody wondering who's coming toward them. Sort of a fun reading, who, how, when, where, all that kind of uh, stuff of who's coming towards you. And also a spirit messages uh, from your guardian angels, what you need to know. So if you're interested in that, please do subscribe and hit the bell. You'll be notified. And if you do, thank you in advance. So good luck to you here, Capricorn. And I'm wishing you the best, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say, with my channels, with the sun energy here, is to always, always shine your light.